Hello, hi, thank you so much for joining our session today. Today is very exciting as we will be making non-toxic butt bombs together with the kids. And we will also do a live demonstration as we, as a bonus, we also organized a yoga for kids conducted by Marilyn of Theta Space Singapore. We are also currently live in the Facebook Labs Facebook page. Hello everyone uh, watching via Facebook. Feel free to put your questions in the comment section and we will try to address them as long as time permits. So we will not be showing video clips of the children attending this session as we want to protect the children's identities. So we are recording for our own research and documentation purposes. Uh, we normally start after five minutes to give time for people who will come in and for people join the Zoom webinar and for people who are watching us over Facebook. We would love to know what activities your kids have been wanting to do once the lockdown is lifted. Please let us know in the chat. So uh, at the bottom of this page, you will have a chat button. If you click on it, you will have two options, send to panelists and send to all panelists and attendees. So for this purpose, we are asking you what activities your kids have been wanting to do once the lockdown is lifted. So for this purpose, please click on send to all panelists and attendees so everyone can see your responses. We will give you a minute. Hello, everyone. Okay, yeah, so, okay, Carolyn says go and eat ice cream. Let's check our Facebook page right now. I'm sure everyone is excited for this episode. Okay, Eugenia says, can't wait to dance. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, I can see people are still coming in. Good. Irin go, hi, hello. So let us know what activities your kids have been wanting to do once this lockdown is lifted. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Okay. Thank you for all your responses. Hello, Jocelyn. Okay, so um, I would like to introduce myself. I'm April and I'm from Dolce Vita Events Singapore. Uh, we are a sustainable events company and we produce and host webinars globally for our clients. So of course, we would like this event to be very interactive so it will be more enjoyable uh, and interesting for you guys. So we encourage you to participate, really participate by chatting so you can also get a lot of things for this session. So this, this session will have different segments in it. Uh, bath bombs, so we're going to create bath bombs. Uh, clean me up, bust the nasties, Q&A, and of course, finally, yoga for kids. Uh, so before I introduce our main speaker, I would like to share some housekeeping. So right now, everyone is muted. I will be overseeing all the technical and backend aspects of this webinar. And we can see your, we cannot see your video right now. We can only see your names in the chat. So later, Han will be inviting you to turn on your videos so everyone can see each other and for additional interaction as well. And if you're not comfortable turning on your camera, it's also okay to keep it off, no problem. All right, this session is being recorded and we are also live in Phone Lab's Facebook page. Kindly refrain from doing your own recording as we want to protect the children's identities, okay? And I mentioned this during the start of the session, but I will repeat it for the benefit of the people who just logged in. Um, this is about the controls of Zoom. So at the bottom of this page, you have a chat button. And when you click on it, you will have two options, send to panelists and send to panel all panelists and attendees. So if you click on send to all panelists and attendees and chat, everyone can see your responses, okay? And if you click on send to all panelists only, only me and the speakers can see your responses. All right, and at the bottom of the screen, very important, you have a Q&A button. So if you click on it, you will be able to type your questions anytime during the webinar, at least before we turn on your videos, okay? It will be combined in this Q&A box so we can easily address your questions um, during the, the, the session. And you can also send your questions anonymously if you're not comfortable, um, you know, for us to see your name. And Finally, feel free to share your support and encouragement to our speakers and the Fun Labs team via the chat. You are more than welcome to do that, of course. So um, I want to introduce our speaker now, Han Chia. 
Um, so in July 2019, Han started Fawn and Co with Lionel and Eldred with a vision for sustainability and clean beauty. Fawn and Co runs Fawn Labs. They conduct workshops and carries out research and development on wellness and clean beauty products. So Han, thank you so much for this amazing show that you have created uh, for everyone. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> yes, for those of you uh, who have uh, joined us on Dirty Nights before, uh, this is a very, very different look because we are um, here with you today on a Saturday afternoon and this is the kids edition. So I thought that I'll show the pool. Oh, it's the wrong side of the pool, which is not a nice side now because nobody can go in, right? Just a few days more, guys. I, I feel you. I hear you. I'm a parent of two kids as well. I know what we've all been through, okay? <laughs> Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Um, uh, the team and I have actually thought about it for a long time. Uh, we initially wanted to launch some kids uh, and parents activities and workshops at Fawn Labs uh, when we first started up in Trust Street this year in February. Now, um, you will know that a lot has changed since February and fast forward today, we are all in circuit breaker at home. Um, even so, I think without a vaccine, um, we will not be looking at mass scale kind of um, activities or events for some time to come. So then we brainstorm during this period. Um, and for those of you who have joined us in, on our Dirty Nights edition uh, for, for uh, adults, uh, adult products, you will know that um, it has always been addressed at skincare and sustainability issues for adults and their products. So we wanted to do something for the children because we are all parents as well. And we came up with this edition, Clean Days by Four Labs. Um, this is really the first that we are doing for children. And after this um, event has ended, April will be sending you a survey form. It's just very quick to answer. It's like three questions. We hope to have your help in filling up this um, you know, survey form for us so that we can learn what content matters to you as parents, what the children like or don't like about today, such that we can continue to you know, come up with great content for all of you, um, especially if this um, situation with the COVID doesn't clear up soon. Okay, so stay with us. At the end of this show, we will have a huge giveaway worth $200 for the mummies and the daddies who are now on standby with your children to make sure that they don't mess up your house, right? <laughs> it's gonna be a very messy afternoon, okay? Trust me, I did it with my kids a few days ago. So, um, as I mentioned, uh, we are going to make some bath bombs today. Uh, we are going to take a look now uh, at the ingredient list, but before that, a lot of us, um, uh, may be wondering how to keep up with Fawn Labs and the activities that we are going to be rolling out in the next few months, given that the um, situation with the COVID might not enable us to have live, you know, uh, I mean, uh, have workshops in person, okay? So we do update our socials very, very frequently. And I'm gonna now talk about uh, what, where you can find us and what, what are the places that you can actually, uh, you know, get yourself um, um, on just to check on when we are announcing our new activities and events, okay? So the first is definitely we are on Facebook as Fawn Labs. This is where we announce all events. This is where we announce uh, sometimes also um, the uh, information that we think is helpful for people to continue their journey uh, with clean beauty, okay? The next is our YouTube channel. You can find us on Fawn Labs. This YouTube channel will have all the videos that we have, um, you know, recorded of our activities and sessions and also events that we appear in. Um, especially for today's session, this is going to be very, very different. And this I want to stress because I'm a mother of two myself. Um, today's session, we are recording it for our own purpose and research. But we will not be showing anything to the public um, with videos of the children on them. That I assure you. Okay, uh, we will, however, be putting out some 
videos or clips of today um, that probably shows my face, you know, my de demo, uh, my, my teammates' face, and also Marilyn is joining us later, stuff like that. But we will edit the video to ensure that the identity of the children are protected. Okay, so do go to Form Labs um, on YouTube channel to follow us and view our past events and workshops. We are also on Instagram at Form Labs. We I have the web www.fornand.co.com.co. Now this web page is uh, uh, for now we have uh, we are still in the process of building it up. Um, so do leave us your email if you want us to be uh, keeping you in the mailing list for other events announcements that we might have. Okay, that's when you leave your email addresses for us um, in order to keep abreast of the events that we may be launching in the next few months. Okay. Um, you can also follow this um, um, workshop today. If you have any questions for me, my team, or Marilyn, do direct it to info at phoneand.co. Again, it's phoneand.co, not .com. Okay. Lastly, we have a Facebook community page called For the Love of Clean Beauty. This is where we invite anyone with a passion and with interest in learning more about non-toxic skincare and sustainability. We do share a lot of information on this page um, for everyone to come and learn, share, and also uh, welcome anyone in the business of sustainability and clean beauty to post um, and update any one of their events or any learnings and takings that anyone can take away. Okay, so join us there and form that um, community for us. Okay, thank you. Now, as I mentioned, I will now move on um, to show what are the ingredients you will need to prepare. Now, bear in mind, right, that you should probably put out some paper, newspapers on the working area in front of you, um, and then uh, get ready the ingredients and the equipment that you will need on the table, on the floor, somewhere very nearby within arm's reach, okay? I'm also going to go very slow later during the demo because, yes, I know what kids are like. You ask them to mix, their hands are on your upholstery, their hands are on your walls, with color paint and stuff like that. So we will go very slow so you can actually manage everything and the ingredients as well, okay? So without further ado, this is the list of ingredients for super cool platforms. Why are they super cool, children? Because you are making them, not us, okay? So they're super cool. They, um, you will have to prepare uh, a cup or 10 tablespoons of baking soda, half a cup or five tablespoons of citric acid, half a cup or five tablespoons of cornstarch. Now the next ingredient is really any oil that you will have at home, right? Preferably things that's um, nourishing to the skin as well. A few of them examples that you may find in your house or your pantry will be coconut oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, or grape seed oil. Bear in mind if a child has um, uh, nut allergy, you should probably um, not, you know, be buying um, sweet almond oil and using it on them. Okay. I see uh, Sui Fern Ko asking where to get citric acid. Uh, we we managed to get some on Amazon. We also managed to get some from um, Home Board as well. Okay. So go there and, and check it out. Now, uh, optional ingredients for the making of bar forms. Uh, will be in the form of um, natural soap dye or food coloring. I'm going to pause here a bit and warn all of you who are using food coloring because I try using that, okay? Go slow on them. Later when you're adding food coloring, right? Really, trust me, one, two drops, then add on more if you want. A little goes a long way. Why? Because food coloring tends to stain um, the white color you know, bath, uh, uh, bathing, uh, uh, what do you call that? The bathtubs you may have at home. They are possible to clean off just tougher, okay? So use less and you will get those stainings as well, all right? Um, the next is something I personally uh, will put in bath bombs I make, and that's because I buy a lot of tea saints. Um, tea saints are really floral tea that has no tea leaves in there. They're mainly dried flowers. So I tend to overbuy them and I want to use things um, that I, but otherwise, you know, and not as trash, and I don't want to do that. So these also, when you steep them in skincare products, they have additional benefits to the skin as well, because they are natural botanicals, right? Um, so some of the ones that you can consider using that I think a lot of people would have at home as in the form of teas would be lavender, rose, chamomile, 
these are all very, very good. Okay. Um, and then essential oils are optional as well. Um, they're truly there for us to make bath bombs that uh, smells nice. Some of the essential oils, if you're using good quality ones that are naturally derived and also pure with no alterations, they have additional skin benefits as well. Okay, so um, all these are uh, information as uh, that related to what we usually teach in our clean beauty class as well, how to look at essential oils and the uh, you know the safety in incorporating them. Uh, but I won't touch on them so much because today I really just want everyone at home and the children to have a stress-free, you know, uh, participation in this program. You don't fret, okay? If you add too much of something, too little or something, just go along with it because you may end up with something that's better than what I am making. Then if it's better, I want you to write in um, or post on your socials, tag us and say, hey, Han, hey, Pondat. I made something better than what you showed me, okay? So kids go away, knock yourselves out and experiment. Now we'll go on to the equipment that we need. We will need one large mixing bowl, one small mixing bowl, a small cup of warm water. The water may be cold, it's fine as well, okay? Now when it comes to water later, this is another thing I want you to be very, very careful about. Add them very, very slowly. Add the water to the ingredients very, very, very slowly. The reason is because if you add too much water and it becomes too uh, mushy, too wet, it will be a terrible, terrible, difficult job, right? It's totally difficult to pack them into the molds, okay? So please remember I said this, okay, to add water very, very slowly, okay? The next, you will need molds. Um, silicone ones for baking will be fine, preferably in small or medium sizes. Um, or you can use, we are all for sustainability here at Bond Labs, you can use the old plastic uh, Easter egg shells if you have any uh, leftover from the children. You know which ones I'm talking about, right? Those that come with chocolates and sweets, sometimes toys and then the children really wants them for the toys. We buy them thinking they want the chocolate, but you know they don't eat the chocolate or sweets. <laughs> okay, last and not least, we will need some measuring cups or tablespoons. If you don't have the ones for baking, it is perfectly fine to use normal tablespoons as well. I used normal tablespoons uh, the other day when I worked with my kids and they loved it, okay? Now, I spent a lot of time to talk about the ingredients and in, uh, uh, you know the uh, equipment that you will need. What I have not introduced is the guest and her very special guest um, that will help us with the demonstration. So without further ado, I am going to now bring on a very special guest to the show. And before she comes on, I just want to run through again some very basic um, you know, housekeeping. I know April has talked about it. I have talked about it, but I do want to stress on recording, okay? If any of you, because this is a point in which we will start to bring the children in. And uh, for all of you joining us at home, I hope you feel safe enough to turn on your videos because these are the pair of eyes. These eyes are the one who's gonna be watching the children for you while you look for ingredients. And I'm gonna yell out, parent of, you know, the boy in yellow, Caden's mom, something like that, right? He's on your upholstery, coloring, food coloring on the fingers, okay? so. Turn on, turn on your 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 uh, videos, and and I will help to see what the children are doing. And if there's anyone that needs help desperately, you can click on this button, right? It's called raise hands, and April or myself will attend to you as well during the demonstration. Okay, it's going to be a longer session than usual because we're going to take our time to ensure the children are relaxed. Okay. Um, also, we are not going to be um, publishing anything, any videos with the children in them. So rest assured, this is my assurance to you as a fellow parent. But those of you, and I do that a lot, who are taking videos off the screen because you want to send it to grandpa, grandma, you know, the auntie in the States who wants to see the children making bath bombs. I, I um, feel free to do that, but do respect that there are other children around. Please do not post them on your socials, okay? This is all I ask for. Thank you very much for hearing me out again. I'm now going to bring we see to the show with us. <laughs> Hello. Hi. She's not here. Hi. This is Hi. 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 How's everyone? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Are you excited? No, I'm Hi, Amelia. 
Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. What are you up to at home? What are all of you up to at home? Now I'm <laughs> What's everybody up to at home? What's Kai homework. doing at home? Hmm? Homework? Mm. It's Saturday, no homework. Auntie Han say so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining us, VC. Thanks for joining us. Kai Kai, you are captain of this ship, you know, Kai. The ship will sink if you do if you run off, you can, okay? You cannot run off. You have to stay here and show everyone how to do it. Are you are you able to stay on? Are you able to stay on? Yeah. Can you promise me? Okay? And then you, you, you're you excited, right? About what you're going to make, right? Bath bombs, right? Yeah. He's yeah. Very... <laughs> Shy. He's, he's very excited, I insist. <laughs> okay, why, why don't we, uh, we see, why don't we start with the demonstration? The children are all getting very, very excited now that they see him. It's starting, right? So everyone, I need you um, to get ready a large mixing bowl, like what we see is showing and put it in front of you. And I'm gonna get April to now pin we see. Uh, so you will not see me anymore, but you will constantly hear my voice, okay? My voice will be very important for this entire session going forward because I am the pair of eyes that will see your children putting their fingers with colors on your upholstery and walls, okay? <laughs> so keep, keep the volume up, okay? Now, we are going to put a large uh, mixing bowl in front of us. Do you have your um, uh, baking soda with you? I will need you to bring the baking soda oh. and the cornstarch out okay. and pour them into the bowl now. Mm -hmm. So I repeat, okay? One cup or 10 tablespoons of baking soda and one third cup of cornstarch or three tablespoons of cornstarch and pour them into the large mixing bowl. You can use a spatula or a mix, um, this uh, whisk. Kai, can you show them what you're using to mix with? Yes, okay. So you can use a, a spatula or you can use a whisk to whisk it together. Make sure they're all mixed well, okay. And this is where, mummies, I need you to now prepare the food coloring for the children. Okay, hold, hold on. Don't drop, don't drop them in first, okay. So what I need you to do now is to get ready the food coloring. And I would say uh, start with one or two drops first. One or two drops first, okay? You want to put it in a bowl, right? Remember? Uh, no, it's straight into the mix. Straight into the mix now and mix it up. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. And then keep mixing. Children, come on, keep whisking, keep mixing, okay? Keep, uh, so what you're trying to do here, children, is to make sure that the color is evenly spread out, okay? Because you, once mommy or daddy drops that in, right, what you will see is that they will cluster up or they will form large, uh, a large colored spot on the floor. So you have to mix them up properly and mix them in. That's right. Wow, there's so many of you. <laughs> I'm now switched uh, to the gallery view. Um, and it's wonderful to see all the children there. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Okay, Eliza Koo's uh, girl, or is that Eliza? I'm not too sure. Yeah, her name um, is Charlotte. Okay, she needs help. She's got a bowl bigger than herself. She doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> okay, once the color is... Um, okay, I will give you guys some time now. If you feel that the color is too faint, right? Feel free to drop in some more colors. For those of you who are adventurous, like myself, when I was young, I used to mix colors. I never used one color. I just pour all colors in. And they all turn brown after a while. <laughs> so feel free. Okay, this is also where, for those of you who wants to use those petals, like lav dried lavender, dried roses, this is where you scatter some of them in as well, okay? And make sure they're all mixed up well, okay? Gonna give you guys another one to two minutes more to put in some more coloring if you want, you know? And, and uh, I up. think we have a question from Michelle. So yes, Michelle, Michelle is asking, mm -hmm. um, do we add the citric acid too? So I think we just do a, another run through of the ingredients. I think some, some of the people missed it. No, um, you don't add the citric acid. Right now in your um, large mixing bowl, you should only have two ingredients and that is the baking soda and the cornstarch. Leave the citric acid aside first, okay? Okay, now 
now I will need you to get ready. While the children are still mixing, right? I need you to get ready a small bowl uh, just to be on standby. And together with a small bowl, I will need you to send uh, to to take the uh, whatever oil you're using, and also the essential oils you're using. This will be mixed, okay? But we'll give the children a bit more time to uh, complete their masterpiece. This is where they are mixing in the colors now and make, making sure that it's all properly mixed, okay? Um, now you don't mix the oils first. Don't mix the oils first because I'm gonna guide you to add the water next once the children are done, okay? We see we're gonna add the water next, okay, to the large mixing bowl. Okay, can you get okay. ready? Yeah. Now this step, right? I need the parents to do it because the children may get overly uh, excited. Okay. Now get ready that small cup of water that I told you about, right? Start with drops, just droplets, and sprinkle them in a little. If you have a spray bottle like we see, we see. Can you show us a spray bottle? Thank you. Okay. This will do as well because it will spread it out evenly. Okay. Now slowly. Once the droplets of water are added in, right? Keep mixing, children, keep mixing. What you're looking for here is like a light, crumbly, cookie um, dough mix. Am I right, Missy? Yeah. Yeah, we don't want soggy. We don't want water dripping out of this, uh, the entire, uh, you know, that, that flour ball that you will have at the end. We want it really dry, crumbly. So when you break it, right, it has to have that crumbly feeling, okay? So it has to be sticky enough to stick together but it cannot be so wet that water is oozing out. As dry as possible, making them stick together, okay? So you have to keep it as dry as possible, uh, yet they must stick together. In the, if, you, if, you, you know, if you do this to the mixture, they must stick together. We see, I'm not too sure if yours is the, about the correct texture already. Can you show everyone? Yeah. So this is what you should be looking at. Um, if you touch it, it's slightly damp, but it's not wet. Can you can you use your hands to lift up a clump of it, right, to show them what it looks like? Okay, very slow. I'm giving you all a lot of time. Don't rush at all, okay? Because we want to ensure that. Yeah. So see, hers is still powdery, and she's going really slow, and I like that. I really like that. Okay, I really like that she's going very slow, because even both of us who are experienced, I'm an experienced uh, formulator, certified one, and she is a very very good. Uh, Baker, right? We end up putting more water the first time we attempted it. And we had a lot of trouble packing it into the bowls. It, it will still make bar forms, but you will have a lot of mess to clean up, okay? So I'm trying to help you guys here. Be very, very slow, as slow as possible. Add the water. Just keep adding water. While I look at everyone, it's so nice. Look at all the children. Oh my goodness, look at that. Shaki. Shaki. Hello. <laughs> Three kids, wow. And hi, Ed, and with the three kids too. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Aslinda. <laughs> I see Carolyn too. Hi, Carolyn. <laughs> Finally, I get to see a little one. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hi, Angie. Hi, Suleen. Hi, Liza, Michelle. Maya, <laughs> for those of you who don't have your video on, I'm going to say hi to all of you too, okay? And I think uh, Sherlyn accidentally added the ci citric acid by mistake. Uh, does she create another new batch or does I would, she... I, I would prefer she create another new batch because what she, what Sherlyn, what you will see now is there will be a lot of bubbles and all these, right? The citric, if you continue with this batch, okay, what will happen is you will find it very hard to pack it later, number one. Number two, the citric acid is really reacting to the water. Uh, when the bar forms are made and when you drop them, in, when they are dry, they will no longer bubble this much, you see. So if you have enough um, ingredients at home, right, try to catch up with us, make a fresh new batch, okay? How's everyone doing? I'm going to take a look at the questions as well in case someone is typing something, okay? Yeah. Eliza, yes, you should have been adding water already, but add them very, very, very slowly, okay? And if no colouring can be seen right, you can add a bit more, okay? The colouring, I leave it up to you guys, okay? If you're playing with the bath bombs in a pail, if you don't have a bathtub at home, right, go for the colouring. You can make it very colourful, it's fine. 
because you're not going to stain your white uh, marbles and stuff like that. For those of you who are using it in bathtubs, my my caution to my, I'm, I'm I'm just saying that it may stain the white bathtub. So go slow on that. Okay. For those who are playing with them in pails, which uh, some of the kids do that, uh, go ahead and make it colorful if you want. Okay. Any more questions that we didn't take? Slightly damp, but not wet. That's right, April. Okay, please, so can I see your yes. your texture now? Okay, here you go. Okay, is this the right texture already? I think so, because we haven't added the... Um, the oil, right? Yeah. Okay, so can, can you show them? So you can see that her texture. Please, so can you hold it up and show them? Hi, Kai. <laughs> Yes, okay, I think you use your use a whisk to whisk it up so they can see. Can you see that it forms, it's starting to form like, like a damp sand? You know what is damp? Yes, I forgot to say this, okay? You have to make it look like damp sand. Okay, damp sand is a bad texture. Because yeah. we haven't added the oil yet. That's right, damp sand, okay? Right. Okay, shall we move on now? Okay, um, is anyone desperately behind and asking us to stop? Feel free to text now. Please wait for me. Okay, I will wait. Okay, the kids are having fun whisking anyway. Okay, anyone need us to wait? Feel free to chat if you need more help. Yeah. Um, Mia was asking, uh, is it supposed to be crumbly? Yes. Yes, crumbly, yes. like wet sand. Okay, yeah. but not soggy. Not soggy. Not soggy at all because we haven't added the oil yet. Okay, perfect. Okay. If it's crumbly already, just uh, adjust the color if you want. If not, can you kindly give us a bit of time to wait for those who are taking a bit more time, okay? Okay, I see that nobody has asked us to hang our way. Um, earlier, Shirlene said she may make a new batch. Shirlene, can we move on now? I think Sherlyn mentioned she doesn't have any citric acid oh, left. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine then. I'm just going to move on, okay? But you can still make the bombs. I, the first batch I made, right, I made the exact same mistake you made, Sherlyn, okay? So don't worry. Later, you have a bit of um, uh, problem with the packing. Just try to pack it all in, right? You can still make bath bombs. They will still dissolve. You just may not get a, um, that sizzling effect, which the children, my children, didn't mind. They love it anyway, okay? So I'm going to move on now. Can you put aside this large bowl and bring the um, small bowl in front of you right now with the oil? Okay, pour the amount of oil inside, one tablespoon of oil. And for those of you who are using essential oils, can you now drop? I would suggest for children, I've taken a look at all your kids, right? They're all rather young, okay? Uh, go with not more than three drops of essential oils, okay? Um, good ones are like lavender. You know, lemon, these are all nice essential oils for children, okay? So, up to three drops. Those of you who are not using essential oils, come, uh, kindly give us a second while we wait for everyone to catch up, okay? Mm. Okay, now that you have added the essential oil in, ensure that the mixture is mixed well. The idea uh, to this, right, look at what Kai is doing. Beautiful Kai. Yeah, show everyone how it's done. Why we have to mix it in is because we want to ensure that essential oil is the word we formulators use is solubilized. Solubilizing means that you are mixing the oil evenly across the entire formulation. Okay, a lot of people make things at home and they drop essential oils in and they don't have a solubilizing, um, you know, ingredient to mix it in properly. Especially when it has water, right? It floats on top of water. It's very dangerous uh, to use on children and even adults. So bear in mind, okay? Okay, good. Sorry, I took up a bit of time there with safety. We are very particular about safety here at Thorn Labs, okay? Now, uh, what you do is, the content of this bowl has to be now poured into the large mixing bowl that you have earlier, slowly and continuously mixing, uh, mixing it into the dough, the dough that you have in the bowl now, okay? Drip the oil in slowly and make sure that it's, try, yes, that's what Huisu is doing, you can see. Try to spread it out as much as possible. Spread it out as much as possible. Okay, I think we have, uh, so Eugenia is uh, making a brand new batch. Okay, we will wait for you. Take your time, Eugenia. Just uh, follow along, hands instructions. And yeah. as Linda is asking, what did you put in the small bowl? Um, the small bowl itself is the vegetable oil 
and the essential oils if you're using essential oils, okay? Eugenia is, uh, so Sherlyn has uh, not enough ingredients. Yeah, we addressed that already. Yes, so I see that April has actually wrote the word solubilize there. Um, this word is very important. If you are coming for workshops at uh, uh, Fawn Labs, you will know that we are very particular about the use of essential oils safely. We love essential oils, but we want to make sure that it's being used correctly and safely for the family and yourself, okay? <laughs> so, is, is everyone uh, mixing in the oil now? Okay, what does the texture of your mix look like now, BC? Can you show everyone? Wet sand. Yes, wet sand. Kai, give me a high five, Kai. High five. It smells like pumpkin. show again. <laughs> okay, if you are hearing additional voices, it's because my children have decided to join me. Don't give me me. Don't give me me. You can't make mama actually teaching everyone. All these, all these have to show off everyone. Okay, so I hope it's all uh, thoroughly mixed in now. Okay, I'm going to move on already from here, okay? So uh, do get ready your mold now because we're going to add in the citric acid mix and then you have to quickly pack it in. We see before you add it in, I want to, I want to warn everyone what's coming, okay? So that they are prepared, okay? I don't want to take them by, um, you know, surprise. Okay, so what's happening is we are going to add in the, the citric acid, right? You, for those of you who have added um, a bit more water than the rest, right? You may suddenly see a large uh, amount of bubbling coming from the citric acid, okay? Now, don't worry about that. This part, you have to be fast, okay? I have been going very slow, but from here on, you guys have to um, be a little bit faster. Add the citric acid in, and then uh, mix it in very fast and very well. Okay, until it's all um, mixed in properly, quickly take a spoon, right? Put it into the mold, right? And this is where you have to pack the mold very tightly, okay? Use your fingers and your palms to push it very hard into the mold. Make sure that there's no gaps, no air at all if you can. And keep pushing and pushing and packing and packing as much as you can pack into the molds, okay? So go for your citric acid now and Godspeed. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Han. So I'll I'll just read through the comments. Yes. So jo Jocelyn is asking coconut oil. Coconut yes. oil is fine. That's what I'm using. Yes. Okay, coconut oil is fine. Jojoba oil, almond oil, uh, almond seed oil, or um, grape seed oil is fine as well. Perfect. Uh, we have here an encouragement for Kai Kai. We Ming we Ming said, "Well done, Kai Kai." Oh, go Kai Kai. <laughs> And Cooper says, what if not enough citric acid? Citric, you see the citric acid, right, will actually be there to create a bubbling um, effect, right? Okay, oh, I forgot to add this earlier. Guys, when we are doing formulations in the lab, right, we are very, very precise in measurements, right? But today, right, don't worry about the measurements. If you have a bit more, a bit less, right, just go for it. I'm quite sure it will come out nice, okay? Um, this is uh, and uh, this is a formulation that is not. Uh, you do not need to be very very precise when it comes to it measuring the ingredients. Okay, that is not acid. Uh, yes, it is acid. The citric acid. Okay. Mommy, oh, mommy, I just it want to say you. Oh, you see, I pressing it, pressing it down. We are pressing it down so that yes. there are no holes. So it's very yes. important to keep we pressing see, it down. We see. Can you show them exactly what it it, it means? Yeah. I'm pressing it down. Yeah. really tightly so that there's no gap because if I don't press down tight enough there will be a lot of air bubbles later after it dries okay so what we see is doing she's using her fingers so like, right like this this was a, a batch that yeah. I did earlier where I didn't I was a little bit lazy mm -hmm. and you can see all the holes hey mama can we show them all now <laughs> there's another one that is done a little bit better Chrissy, Chrissy, can you show them what I mean by pressing with the fingers very hard Yes. Yeah. So what see that's what we see. That's what we see is doing. And then she will add more on top. Okay, look at add that. a little bit at a time. Yes, add a little bit at a time and keep pressing it in, okay? Keep pressing it in. See, my 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 Cora is very interested in the donut. It's not for eating, you know. This is for bath no, donut, bath bomb, my mom. <laughs> okay, Auntie we see. can she have a donut bath bomb? Yes, of course. Okay, 
Um, we have a couple of questions. Very interested yes. audiences here. So Eugenia <laughs> says, I have caught up and how much oil should I put? Okay, I will guide you. Eugenia, the rest of you all right, just keep following the video and we see, okay? Okay, Eugenia, use one tablespoon of the oil and put it in a small bowl. If you're using essential oil, so one tablespoon of the vegetable oils and up to, up to not more than three drops of essential oils, okay? Up to three okay. drops of essential oils. And then once you drop that in, okay, um, mix the essential oils uh, very, very thoroughly with the vegetable oil that you have selected, okay? And once that is done, put, throw that whole entire small bowl content into the larger mixing bowl, okay? Drizzle it in, spread it out well, and mix it in thoroughly. Make sure it's mixed in as thoroughly as possible, that the oil is spread out thoroughly, okay? Okay, thank you for that. And, Eliza, uh, your dough keeps bubbling, I can see that, right? That's because the water, you probably add a little bit too much water. It is fine, okay? But later, when you are packing it into the mold, right, what you have to do is that you have to keep using your fingers to get rid of the air and keep pressing it down into the mold, okay? You have to be patient with that part. Really. You have to keep pressing it down into the mold and then keep adding on more just to pack it in as um, hard as possible, uh, pack it in as, uh, as tight as possible. But it will keep bubbling, okay? If you want, right, Eliza? Uh, is it Eliza? Yeah, if you, Eliza, if you want, uh, what you do is you pour in more cornstarch and uh, baking soda. Just add one tablespoon more of each to see whether the bubbling uh, stops. Oh, okay. I, I know who Eliza is, really. I know who Eliza is. Just All right. Just go. <laughs> Anne, we have another yes. question from Anne. Do we add yes. more water after the citric acid? Um, no, don't add any more water. The water is enough already. Okay, and uh, Cooper is asking, any substitutes for the citric acid? I'm afraid not, unless you <laughs> don't want uh, the fizzling action, right? Then you don't need to include um, um, citric acid. But really, children just like that bubbling thingy, that, 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 that look, the sight of that, right? So that's the reason why we add citric acid. Okay? But if you're making them without citric acid, it will still melt in the bathtub, especially when there's hot water or warm water. It's just that you won't have that sizzling effect. Okay? Cooper, uh, one third cup of citric acid. I think that's enough. That's fine. Okay. And we have a follow-up question from Anne. Is it meant to be crumbly in the mold? Yes. Um, yes, crumbly but like wet sand. But you have to make sure that you pack it very, very, very tight, okay? So it's crumbly, right? You keep adding spoonfuls and you keep pressing it down, pressing it down. As much as it can take and you can take more, you just keep adding, okay? My advice is to pack it as much as possible. That means if you can take 10 spoonfuls, you have to do it with 10 spoonfuls, okay? Just keep pressing it in as much as you can press it. My, my batch when I did the one that was uh, successful to pop out and look very good, right, was the one that felt like concrete. Hello. Imagine that. It felt like concrete after I was done, okay? So that's how hard I packed them. And uh, Eugenia is asking, when do you put the citric acid? The citric acid will go in after the oil content in the smaller bowl is thoroughly mixed in, okay? Then the moment you pour the citric acid in, in to the larger uh, mixing bowl where everything is right, quickly mix it in and then quickly pack the mold. That's what everyone is doing now, actually, packing the mold in. Yeah. It feels a little bit like wet sand. It is wet sand. It is, it is wet sand, kind of course, right? What does mommy know? I know better. I'm the baker at home. <laughs> Kai, you tell her how it's done, Kai. <laughs> how are the rest of the kids doing? So we're really pressing it down really tightly until we don't right. press it down anymore. Yeah, see? Okay, we're going to show you what we have done. Okay, can you all see? Can you see how you show you? The one that we already made. <laughs> He's very excited to show you. This is the one that I did last night. It's from the same mold. This is pink color. And this is from a different mold. So you can see how I pack it in tightly. The ones with the holes is because I didn't pack it in tightly enough. 
And I then we got the mushroom. I actually think this is kind of cool, but maybe too holy. <laughs> Yeah, the reason why it's holy, right? Two reasons. Maybe there's not enough water, but I prefer it like that, right? Then with more water. And Huisi and I will know why because we did try with more water, right? And it just didn't stop bubbling. It was a mess, you know? Then I had uh, I had to clean that off the floor, the tables, okay? Okay, children, if you're helping mommy with the packing, you have food coloring on your fingers. You do not, you do not touch your hands on any of her upholstery, her nice white walls, okay? You do not do things like that, okay? Mommy will faint, I tell you. <laughs> then it's daddy's turn. <laughs> uh, okay, how are we doing, everyone? Is anyone still needing help uh, with this process? Hi, Eliza. Hi, hi Daddy Irvin. Hello. <laughs> Eliza is with Daddy Irvin. <laughs> Irvin is a familiar friend to all of us at Fondlabs. <laughs> hey, say hello, Joshua. Hi, Joshua. Okay, Hi, you. What, what you need to do now, um, I need you guys to help me out with the pace. I'm not too sure if you're ready um, to Hi. put this aside. Has anyone um, not finished or mm -hmm. is anyone still struggling uh, trying to catch up with us? Can you key it into the comment section? You can tell that I'm taking um, I'm taking this very slow. I'm allowing you to catch up. Let me know if someone is not keeping up with the pace and the bit, okay? How should we store the bath bombs after they dried up? Okay, this is from um I can't see her name in Fusu Su Lin is it? Uh, Su Lin, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I, I, I will, normally I have a basket or a bottle, a glass jar, I put them in there because I've been using bath bombs for a very long time, so um, I usually put them in glass jars and I close them or I take paper, you know, brown paper or wax paper, something that will keep moisture out and wrap each of them. If you're going to use them very quickly and you know the kids have no patience to take their time to use them up, right? You can have a basket and put them in it. Just keep them dry because humidity crumbles the bath bombs very quickly. Okay? So what you must do when you store them, just bear in mind uh, to uh, prevent moisture from getting them as fast as possible. A uh, Brown paper works especially well. I've kept uh, bath bombs for a year before in brown paper. They do crumble up a little bit, uh, but not much. Okay? Okay, I, I think everyone is almost done. No? Keep bumping in the mode. Yes, Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth, you know why you added a bit too much water? So uh, the advice I gave Eliza just now is to add a bit more cornstarch or uh, baking soda if you have. Just add one more tablespoon each. Okay, throw it in. Um, that, should, that should keep the bubbling at bay, okay? Uh -huh. Gallery view, Ooh. or then, then we can see. Then we can see. Oh, yes, right. Kai. Gallery views to see everyone. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. They say hello. Okay. Hello, Papa. We have a message from Elizabeth. She says uh, it keeps bubbling in the mold. <laughs> too much, too much water, Elizabeth. Yes, I, 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 uh, already answered to Elizabeth already. The other day we did it and then I had green green stuff bub bubbling into my onto my white countertop. <laughs> Not very fun. <laughs> Hi Dudu. Hello. Green. Go. Huh? Go. Everyone wants to say hi to you. Hi, say hi, say hi. Stop it, stop it, stop it. No, no, stop it. <laughs> we see you're done, right? Yes. Yeah, Okay, guys, once you, um, those of you who are done, right, now leave these um, to dry overnight. Uh, what we see and I do is that because we want to do it speedily, right, we just throw it into the oven and bake it. How long you want to let everyone know? And, no, no, and no, what, no, no, no. Uh, so you don't, you don't actually bake it. So what you do is you preheat your oven to 170 degrees. And then after 20 minutes, you turn it off. And then you put in your bath uh, bombs. So you don't actually bake it. It just Isn't that baking? To me, yeah. that's baking. <laughs> yeah, sitting in the residual heat is not the oven is off. But okay. then the best the best way is to just let it sit overnight. 
And the best way is to just let it sit overnight because it's mm, yes. you're in a hurry to use I, it. I, I will let you guys know, right, that the best bath bomb that I made, right, so far to date, right, is the one that I let sit overnight for yes. at least three, uh, yeah, yes. almost 24 hours. Then I popped it out because yeah. you don't agitate. You see, when you have a quick rapid uh, change in temperature, right, it sometimes uh, makes the uh, drying process, right, very uneven. Um, and that's where I'm afraid that you may create cracks in the uh, bath bombs. So children, I'm very sorry, although it looks very fun. You have to wait until tomorrow before you can Just use them. Just put it on okay? the countertop, put it on the table, don't eat it, you know, then tomorrow you'll be ready. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. <laughs> eat it. <laughs> Okay, is anyone else, uh, because I am going to uh, move on to the next segment of the show very quickly, if everyone has already more or less finished with the process. If we finish, then I have it. Okay, then I can. we will say bye-bye to Auntie Han, Auntie Pikwe. Uh, no, I, I still want to say bye-bye properly, but we still want to make sure that everyone is done before we do that, okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, um, everybody, all the children who are done, can you just wave at Auntie Han if you had a lot of fun? Wave at Auntie Han. Oh, <laughs> I hear a lot of laughter. Thank you. I had so much fun watching all of you, okay? Now, we're going to say, okay, and I need everyone now, is, has Kai Kai been a very good host? Has Kai Kai been a very good demo? Demo? Oh, Amelia is saying no. His sister is saying no. Come on, Amelia. <laughs> yeah. So I want all of you all to say thank you, Kai Kai, and wave Kai Kai good goodbye. Thank you, we see. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Best host I ever had. Not you, we see Kai Kai. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> I'm gonna let them go and I'm gonna come back now okay. and we're gonna move on with this show. Yeah, that was so great fun for me. Oh. <laughs> the guys are wonderful. Okay, we're gonna now move on to this part of the show, right, that I think the parents uh, will be interested in. I mean, before I um, before I were, became a um, certified formulator, um, I might have to ask um, April to um, unpin we see and then pin me up. April, am I pinned already? Uh, yes. Okay. So I I before I became a um, certified formulator, I was um, actually not very aware of a lot of things that I was putting on my skin. Um, and then back then, um, back then the um, um, you know the the idea of uh, buying something good for my children. Uh, to use usually will be in the form of something I think like you know this is a reliable brand this is an expensive brand surely they'll take care of me and my family so that was how I make decisions for skincare and child uh, children care products I'm not too sure if um, that's the same process that you guys have gone through um, I will like to find out though before I make the next um, part of the show and presentation um, if these, what are the criterias that you go through when you buy something for your children to use when it comes to their bath time products, okay? Uh, this is very interesting topic to us because we did our dirty nights um, and we asked people to name the reasons why they buy skincare. What are the decision-making criterias? Uh, we receive a lot of information that does not surprise us because I was a victim of all that before. So for those mummies who have um, free hands and you are not packing bath molds and stuff like that, right? Uh, can you just key into the comment section and let me know what are your reasons and what are the, what are the points to consider when you buy children bath products, okay? Because the next up, um, we're going to do clean me up and bust the nasties because we're going to examine what are in our children's commercially soaked products for cleansing and whether these ingredients are good. And then I'm going to end with Pasta Nasties. Pasta Nasties would be me giving you a list of ingredients to look out for that are considered um, ideal and some that are not so ideal. Okay. 
Uh, we're not here to do fear mongering. We're here to educate everyone to look out for these. And it's okay to have some of these ingredients in your products as long as it's formulated with the right amounts. Um, meaning to say they don't exceed certain percentages or you don't use them all the time. Okay. So I'm going to move on now into clean me up. Okay. Now we have uh, had a few of you submitted your bath, in the, uh, bath time, uh, you know, uh, products, and we are going to start with Joycelyn CS body wash. Okay. So the criteria that we use when we look at um, bath, uh, all these ingredients um, uh, falls into five categories. If they are in any of these categories, we will highlight them to you. Okay. They must not be number one, a carcinogen. Carcinogens are ingredients that if you overuse them over a prolonged period in large quantities, okay, um, studies may have shown that these may cause cancers. So we certainly do not want to use all these things in our very young children. Um, they must not fall under a toxin. Toxins are things that are toxic to your health, to your skin. Um, they will uh, cause other kinds of health problems that is uh, not related to cancer. Um, for women, right, this may include fertility issues. This may um, hurt your, um, you know, your liver um, and your um, neural system as well. Okay. Um, for anything that falls under the category of irritants, we will highlight them as well. Irritants would mean not just to your eyes and to your skin, but if they irritate your uh, digestive systems, etc., and things like that, we will highlight them as well. Um, last, uh, sec, sec, the, the fourth one would be allergen. Allergens are things that causes uh, potential allergy issues to children and younger children do have a, a tendency for that. My boy, Josh himself, is a hyper um, you know, sensitive boy, uh, emotionally as well as skin-wise and food-wise. So I have uh, brought him up right, knowing the dangers of not recognizing what are the things that causes the skin to break out in hives and eczema. So I, so I think a lot of you will want to know that as well, okay? Um, the last point will be any ingredients that are potential pollutants, okay? Now, what we mean by pollutant is anything that's non-biodegradable. We don't like that because here at Fondnet, we stand for sustainability because we our, our, our brand adheres to the ethos of clean beauty. And if you stand with us on sustainability, I hope you will take note of the ingredients that are pollutants, uh, possible pollutants to the environment. They're non-biodegradable or non-sustainable in the way they are farmed or produced like petroleum. Okay. I'm now going to move on to Joyce Lin's um, product, Gaia. Now, this is the ingredient list that um, came up to us. Now, I have to first uh, let all of, you, all of you know, right, whatever you submit to us, the first place we go to is to find information on the internet. Why we do that is because we understand that we are like consumers, uh, everyday consumers like you. And in order to find out information properly, that's probably the first place that we'll go to. And for us here at Bond Labs, we always believe that in order to be a strong brand for um, yourself and your family, we have to remain transparent with everyone as to what ingredients we use, how much of the ingredients we use, and everything that we stand for. So we always check on the website, okay? And this is the ingredient list that you will normally see on any products. How they are um, positioned is that the top most, uh, the highest percentage used in the uh, ingredient list right, will always end up on top uh, and all the way to the bottom, whereby they are used in the smallest percentage. Okay. So in this ingredient list, you see water, which means to say that they use the highest percentage um, uh, the highest percentage of ingredient use is water in this in, uh, in this entire formulation, this product. Okay, so they have water, which is fine. They kill um, glucoside, sodium, cocum, um, co cocomipo, dipropionate, cocomidopropyl, betaine. These are what we call surfactants. We need to say they create a cleansing effect in your um, product, and these are actually fine. Okay. Um, Gua is a thickening, um, it's a gum, it thickens the, the product. Um, the hydropropyl um chloride is actually uh, a, a chelator. It stabilizes the entire formulation. Lactic acid is fine. Glycerin is a humectant. Um, lactic acid has a mild preservative um, um, 
function to it, okay? Now the next uh, group of uh, ingredients you will see there, uh, I can tell you they are mostly uh, botanical extracts. Some of them are essential oils and how you recognize them as essential oils. This is, by the way, right, a very, very good, um, from, uh, what do you call it, ingredient list because they are following the standards, European standards. There's no um, global standards to follow. So the European standards is usually the best when it comes to skincare products uh, followed by uh, American standards. American standards are clearly catching up um, with the European standards as well because this is how you will see American brands label their products as days, okay? So the ones with the stars are usually botanical extracts or essential oils. When they have stars, it means that they contain potential allergens that may impact our children or ourselves when we use them. And a lot of these are actually chemical compounds we'll find in chemicals. Uh, our chemical compounds we'll find in essential oils. Um, the moment these are highlighted, right, you know that you can trust um, this brand because it means that they have um, started to, um, you know, they have actually um, uh, uh, formulated, bearing in mind um, what are the derma limits that you should observe when you when you actually use these ingredients okay so it's great because um, they are showing it all here and then things like geraniol eugenol farnesol these are all potential allergens and they are highlighting it so that's great okay benzyl salicylate right is actually a uh, ingredient they use which is uh, naturally derived from plants this is a preservative okay so all in this is a very very good product i personally like it um, Gaia is one of the brands, and I'm so glad now because my children are a lot older. If you have seen them uh, around me earlier, um, we don't use baby products anymore. Um, but this, this is actually a um, um, brand that I used to use a lot. However, they do use phenoxyethanol as a, um, um, it's being highlighted right now. Okay, they use phenoxyethanol as a um, ingredient for preservative um, purposes. This is a carcinogen if it's used in very large amounts but if you notice they use it they put it right at the bottom right it's almost to the end so it's likely used less um, than one percent and i will tell you if this is properly um, formulated for children the total percentage of ingredients that they're using right that is an essential oil total okay there's at least i'm counting like one two three four i can say about three or four there Okay, the total is actually less than one percent so if the next so uh phenoxyethanol is coming out lower than the essential oil itself it's much less than one percent okay and the safe uh, amount to use with phenoxyethanol in any ingredients uh, list for adults even is less than 7.5 percent so i can tell you even though they're using something that's a potential um, carcinogen i personally don't think that there's a huge um, issue here okay because of the great uh, way they have um, um, show the ingredient list, I trust. I trust that they are using very little of that. Enough for the purpose, but not too much, okay? So I'm gonna move on now. I'll be a little bit faster now since we are getting the hang of how these ingredient lists should look like, okay? Eugenia Earl's body wash. Um, this is actually, uh, we're gonna use the same, you know, uh, criteria to, to do this. Now, we are looking at an ingredient list that is very simple, right? The problem with this ingredient list is I have noticed that they did not actually include anything that is um, a um, preservative or an additive. It is a um, ingredient list that includes both water and oil products. So it um, definitely has a form of um, um, you know, additive in it to to solubilize or to emulsify these two ingredients together. So it's not coming up here. So whilst the ingredient list looks good, I now actually can see they've only included the botanicals and cocomidopropyl um, betaine is actually the surfactant and it's plant derived. So I'm now left guessing, did they exclude anything that's a synthetic? Synthetic doesn't mean that it's bad. But when you exclude it like that, it makes me doubt if you're hiding something from the consumer. So that's my frank opinion here. I'm just gonna move on to the next product. Again, it's the same brand from Eugenia, and this is a conditioner and detangler. 
And we're going to look at the ingredient list with the same criteria again. We're going to move a lot faster now. Um, again, they have nothing there that's um, shocking to me except for phenoxyethanol. Same. Um, it's the same brand, but they're declaring phenoxyethanol here. And it looks fine here because it's right at the bottom. Potassium sorbet is also a preservative. So they're doing fine here. Um, I doubt they added a lot of it. But why are they so inconsistent? So comparing the same brand and two products makes me even more concerned because if you're a brand owner, you should practice consistency such as your audience or your, um, you know, your customers know what you are thinking of when you present your information out there. So um, I am not liking the, um, you know, the, 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 you know, that whole way of presenting um, their ingredient list. So I can't say so much uh, for this these items, okay? But other than these, the rest of the items are actually things we use in our own um, lab as well. They have selected very, very nice uh, botanicals here, okay? Now I'm gonna move on um, to the next uh, product. Um, Bubble Botanicals, Catherine has actually submitted this shampoo and we're gonna go very, very fast now into the ingredient list, okay? So this is a very long ingredient list, right? Is there anything in there that we are, you know, not fond of? I don't see anything in there that I'm not fond of. They are mainly botanicals. Uh, aloe barbadensis is, a, a densis is actually aloe vera juice and that's all, okay? So they don't use water here, which I really like. One thing I can't understand is why are we paying hundreds of dollars for a lot of products that uses 70 to 85% of water in their ingredient list? If you see water at the front with no other water uh, ingredients like hydrosols or aloe vera juice, etc., they are using up to 85% of water in them. But this um, product is very good, it's very nourishing, and it's very gentle to the children as well. Okay, um, a lot of they're using sodium lauryl glucose um, and also um, let's see lauryl glucoside, cocoa glucoside. These are things we use in the lab for surfactants, so that these are fine as well. Okay. Um, sodium, I see a, a, a question for Sweepen. Sodium laurel sulfate is the one that's bad. If it's sodium laurel something else, it's not bad. Okay, sulfate is the one you have to watch out for. I'll, I'll go into that later. We have uh, something for you to see later. So there's nothing really bad here. Only I cannot understand and I cannot detect where the preservative is. There is only an antioxidant in there and that's tocopherol at the bottom and ascorbic palmitate, which is vitamin C and vitamin E, but they are hardly preservative. So I am highly concerned as well. Although they look like a wonderful um, ingredient pick, um, they are not declaring an obvious uh, preservative. And this is always my concern because through uh, my learnings and uh, my education uh, journey, preservatives are the toughest, toughest, right? to you know, um, work around in order to keep the product safe and also to keep it safe in terms of the um, limits on which we should use them. So yes, but a little bit of a no there, where is the preservative, okay? We're gonna move on now. I believe it's uh, one of the last already. CeraVe, I understand from QC, it's a very good brand. Let's look at the ingredient list and we're gonna see that it is actually um, very, uh, it's a very, very well um, formulated um, uh, uh, product. In fact, they're using a lot of uh, ingredients, right, that you usually don't use for children, like the ceramides, because they really have very gentle and, and uh, not, they really have very nice baby skin. It's so smooth, you don't really need um, to add ceramides, but uh, maybe it's for the holes in their fats, I don't know, to smoothen it out. But I, I mean, if this I would use myself, this I would really use myself. Okay. They even have hyaluronic acid, which is excellent for women who, or, or men who want to erase some, um, you know, it's like um, H, H uh, um, what do you call it, um, um, uh, fine lines. Uh, that's very good to plump up the fine lines, okay, naturally also, okay. But again, I'm not seeing um, an obvious uh, preservative, but they do have something there called sodium benzoate. That's a very gentle preservative. So I hope it's because of uh, the, the, the way it's structured, the entire formulation, um, the sodium benzoate is enough for the preservative function in this entire um, um, carboma. Carboma is also a, a um, what we call a, um, um, uh, a stabilizer, a chelator. So that could be the reason why they are only using sodium benzoate. But this is a very, very good formulation. Okay, so we're going to move on now to 
past the nasties. And what is past the nasties? It is when I tell you what are the ingredients that to look out for um, and what are the ones that we prefer and don't prefer. It doesn't mean if your products have these ingredients, you throw them away. No, you just have to make sure that you don't use them uh, too often, too much, and maybe, um, you know, alternate them with some other products, okay? Uh, surfactant, we had the uh, question earlier. So there you go, SLS. All lauryl sulfates, okay, are not good. All DEAs are not good. All glucosides are fine. Emulsifiers, as long as you see a PEG, it means that it's a silicone. Children don't eat silicone. Adults also certainly don't eat silicones, okay? Emollients, we don't like paraffins. We don't like any silicones, okay? Um, anything that is artificially fragranced, you will see parfum and fragrance. Don't buy anything that has such um, ingredients in them because this this is my other than preservatives right this is my next um, you know uh, um, uh, the, the next ingredient that I feel very strongly about uh, you don't need big fragrances and parfum and all these to make a product work you don't need it in a product you don't even need it to make a product that's what I'm saying okay so all these are just chemicals that's really really bad for health and for your skin so avoid them essential oils are fine if they are declaring it properly and that they have actually taken in mind the thermal limits and the potential allergens in them, okay? Preservatives, we know, the usual suspect, parabens, the rest are like EDTA, formaldehyde, triclosan, VHD, I uh, mentioned early, earlier, phenoxyethanol. Uh, phenoxyethanol is uh, okay if you use less than 7.5% in an ingredient list, okay? So I should now move on, um, I should now move on quickly to, oh, I'm sorry, I missed out on the um, sunscreen as well. Sunscreen comes in two forms. There are chemical blockers and the physical blockers. If you're buying a sunscreen, look out for things with titanium dioxide and zinc oxide and the non-nano option of version of it, okay? I like to talk more in details of all these things, but we really um, don't have much time left. So if you're interested to find out all these, um, maybe we can have other sessions down the road, right? Including uh, more detailed information on all these. Key into the comment section if you want to hear about these or leave us a feedback in the comment section uh, in the feedback that April will send later. Okay, now I'm gonna move on now, uh, very quickly before I introduce the next guest and a very special guest. Okay, do stay with us uh, to the end of the show because we have a huge giveaway uh, for the mummies or the daddies to come to Pond Labs. Um, it's worth $200. Uh, this is a gift uh, for some uh, for people. Who are with us today and I, I hope that you will um, stay on till the end of the show and wait to see what giveaway we have for one lucky person, one participant, okay? Now, I'm going to now introduce a very special guest to this show and it's what a lot of us are here for, the yoga. <laughs> Her name is Marilyn. Um, she's the founder of Theta Space and she's going to have her own session later um, on, on Zoom and it's called Finding Your Balance. We're going to leave her socials um, uh, handles on this page uh, and this comment section Then you can look for her. Uh, Finding Your Balance truly is about helping us maintain some health in our uh, mental, mental health, taking care of our mental health. A lot of us have been staying home with the children for coming to two months. We need help. <laughs> I'm just joking there, okay? But a lot of us, um, no, mental health is something that we will, we should not joke about, we should not neglect. And I'm very happy to have met uh, Marilyn uh, some months ago. And she has actually, um, you know, we very sharing on her social media about mental health. And I really enjoy having her on my social media. I hope you guys will add her and maybe even join her. I know 7.30 is a weird time for mummies and daddies because we are feeding the children, bathing them. And if you have time, do join her tonight um, in her own show. I shall now bring her in and she will explain everything herself. And children, are you ready for yoga? I hope you are, okay? Thank you, Marilyn, please. Okay, I'm going to mute here, but um, my mic is on another account, so April... All right, can everyone hear me? Hi. Can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear me? Thumbs up? Okay, hi everyone. 
So my name is Marilyn and thank you Han for having me here. Okay, so um, today I will lead you through a short yoga session and we will be learning very simple stretches. So we are going to do things that you might be able to do in the shower when you're bathing, when mommy and daddy is bathing you, all right? So mommy and daddy, if you're tuning in, I would encourage you to join the kids. It's a very simple standing sequence and it's actually to help to lubricate. So when you go to the shower, you wash the surface of the skin. This um, stretches and the rubbing action also will help to lubricate the under layers of your skin. So it'll be nice to uh, do this together as a family activity and yeah, safety is most important. So just make sure your area is clear. So uh, before I go to my standing area, yes, finding your balance, if you can join us later, it's about how you can carve out short periods of um, short breaks in the middle of your busy day. So if you can, do join us, okay? So if you're ready, I'm just going to switch to gallery view here so that I can see everyone, okay? Hello everyone! Is everyone having some fun? All right, so I'm just going to go over there and just make sure you can see me, yeah? Okay, so we are going to do a little bit of movement, just side to side, stretching front and back. So you're just going to start by keeping your legs a bit wider, okay? And you just want to shake it up, okay? So you really want to shake it and if you really want to move, you can also make a little bit of noise. You can hear how my voice is shaking when I shake, right? So you can just shake it out, okay? Yeah, shake, shake. Yeah, I can see some very creative movement. I like this one as well. Okay, can't see the name. I'm so sorry. Very far from, <laughs> from me. Okay, so just shake it out. If you want to dance, you can go dancing like this. Go side to side. Okay, so you guys get more creative than me, right? Get creative. Just Let's just move. All right, because just now you guys move your hands a lot. So now we are moving the rest of the body. Okay, so the first one we are going to do, we are going to go side to side like a tree so one as you breathe in just bring the arms up stretch show me how tall you want to be when you grow up how tall do you want to be i want to touch the ceiling well some of us don't want to be tall <laughs> okay can i have the hands up hands up yeah all right and we're going to bring one hand down stretch reach for the side wall reach for the side wall how far can you reach how far can you reach Oh, wow. All right, down. Okay, let's try the opposite side. The other hand up and stretch. I'm going to touch the wall. I'm going to touch the wall. I'm going to touch the wall. Can you touch your wall? I don't know where your wall is. <laughs> reach, reach, reach. Very nice. One more time. Go back to the first side. Up and reach. Touch the wall, touch the wall, touch the wall. I'm almost there. All right, and back. The other side, up and reach. Ooh. Oh, some of us are going really fast. That's nice. All right, and back. Okay, one more time. So step the feet out. Shake, 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 shake. Dance and let's move. Sway it around. Get creative. Oh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So everyone, can you follow me, little boys and girls, and mummies and daddies as well? So you're going to twist, okay? Let's go to the right and to the left. Slowly, okay? You don't want to get dizzy. You don't want to fall down. It's like you're turning around to get something. <laughs> and take it. Turn it around. Take. And bring it back. Back. And change, okay? We are going to make it a little bit more challenging bring it over and bring it back bring it over and touch your opposite shoulder bring it back sweep it around and back can you touch the opposite shoulder reach for the opposite shoulder can you see me tapping my shoulder here and back one more time and back get us away and back okay let's change this up we bring the arm up and bring it over the head and you're going to touch the opposite shoulder and back. The other arm up, bring it behind and back. Can we try that one more time? Up, twist, back, give yourself a tap and back. 
One more time, the other side. Up, two, back, and back. Okay, keep going, boys and girls. I'm just coming forward to take a look at what you guys are doing. Oh, oh, that's so nice. Some of you are moving so nice, so nice. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to run on the spot. Ooh. Trick, 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 trick. Where are you running to? Where are we going to run to? <laughs> okay, so uh, boys and girls, I would like you to watch first, okay? We are going to try balancing on one leg. So what you're going to do, shift the balance to your leg, one leg, pick up one knee. Let's see your balance. Ooh, nice. Yes, it's okay to it's okay to put the leg down. Okay, from here we are going to become little aeroplanes. Who wants to be an aeroplane? Bring it back. Woo. Woo. Oh, nice! And then come back. Ah, don't lose your balance. Don't fall down. <laughs> nice. Can I see aeroplane? Same leg. I am flying away. Ooh, I'm flying away. Okay, one more time on the same leg. Bring it back up. And back. Stretch. How high can you fly? How high can your leg go? Two. Woo, nice. And come back. All right. Let's change over to the opposite side. Okay, so you bring the other leg in. All right. And then become little aeroplanes. Oh, wow, nice. Very, very nice, kids. In. And back. Lift the leg higher if you can. How, how, how high can your leg go? In. And back. Nice. Nice. How high can your leg go? Show me your aeroplane. The higher you fly, the further you go. Very nice. And bring it back to center. Okay. So a little bit of running again on the spot. Just shake it out. See if you can kick the heels up. How high, how far can you run? Okay. One more set. Kids, are you okay there? Are you doing good there? Having fun? Having fun? All right. So we're just going to go forward and back. Let's reach the hands to the sky. And then you're going to touch the toes. Reach the hands to the sky. Support your back and push your hips forward. Hands up. Touch your toes. Hands up. Look to the sky. Keep going, kids. I'm just going to come over and see what you guys are doing. Auntie Marilyn can't see from that far. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. Can I see everybody go forward? Can I see everybody touch their toes? You're going to scrub your toes, okay? So, your hands, scrub your feet. Scrub, 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 scrub. I know you can't really see me here. So you want to try to pretend that you're scrubbing your feet. Ah, scrub, scrub, scrub. Ah, this is the way you scrub your leg. You scrub your leg. Yep. Okay. And what we are going to do, we're going to go on to the shins down here. Okay. So you're going to scrub the front. Don't forget the back. Scrub the back. Scrub the sides. Your legs have Four sides, right? Scrub the front, the side, and the back. Scrub, 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 scrub. Okay? Don't forget your other leg. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Good? Okay, let's move higher. Okay, I'm going to wash the thigh. Ooh, scrubbing it down, scrubbing it down. Yeah, both legs. You can use one hand on each leg. Okay, don't forget the back of your legs. 
So you're in the shower now, right? So how, this is how you wash yourself, the sides of your legs. Okay? Don't forget the inside. Okay? Good. So from here, belly. Let's just scrub it out, scrub it out, scrub it out, scrub it out. Okay, don't forget the back. Okay, if you want, you can tap. What's everyone doing? Oh, <laughs> all right. Okay, what does this action look like? The chest. What does this action look like? Oh, you can tell mommy. Okay, oh, that's very nice. All right. The shoulders, tap, 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 brush, 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 tap, tap, tap. Tap, 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 brush, 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 brush. One more time, tap, 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 brush, 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 brush. Let's go down the hands. Tap, 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 brush, 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 brush. Scrub it out. Okay, your hands on the inside too. Must wash it clean. Very nice, very nice, very nice. The other hand. If you want, you can tap a little bit. Okay, inside of your hands. Okay, what about the side of the body? Let's put it here. Oh, nice. The other side. Okay. Okay, can everyone show me how you wash your face? How do you wash your face? How do you wash your face? Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'll wash my face like that later. <laughs> okay. Okay, my face is clean. What about the hair? How do you wash your hair? Oh, many, many ways. Don't forget the bottom of your head. Top of your head. Ruffle it up. Oh, I can't see anyone. <laughs> All right. Good. Is everyone having fun? All right. So from here, just one last one. You're just going to shake it out. Shake it out, shake it out. Make a little sound. Ah, you hear the sound. Ah. All right, and you're done. Thank you, kids. I really loved watching everything. Well done, everyone. Well done. Thank you for joining me. Whew. I am sweating. <laughs> Thank you, Marilyn. Thank okay. You, um, now we have a bit of time left, so I'm going to bring uh, Marilyn and April um, into um, the show again for us to take any more questions that you might have. Yeah. Does anyone have any questions for us? Hi guys, so please feel free to send all the questions. So, so far I, I don't see any questions here. Um, all right. Okay, CA says no. Let's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't worry because you can reach uh, both Marilyn and I and even April um, on social media. We have already left our handles there. Um, we're just going to now move on to the last bit of the show where I introduce my partner, uh, Fonlet's partner, uh, Lionel. He will have something interesting and very special to us to let you know. Hi. Hi. Uh, thanks, Han. Hope you parents had, and kids had a fun time today. In light of today's kids' theme, we would like to support the following charity, and that's the Children's Wishing Well. Right? From the... Whoa, sorry. The slides came upon. Sorry. Yeah. From the educational needs to their daily living needs, uh, Children's Wishing Well has been providing for the current and future needs of the disadvantaged children since year 2002. Be it tuition programs, learning journeys, a reading club, and elective programs in sports, music, art, and IT, Children's Wishing Well has been supporting these underprivileged children to give them a better chance for a better future and to realize their potential. So the team here at Fawn Labs would like to raise awareness of their vision and mission and dedicate this 
episode in support of the children's wishing well. We do, we do hope you can leave a donation, no matter big or small, and join us in supporting these children in need. All right? Okay, so uh, that's, that's it. And uh, back to you, Han. Thank you, Lionel. So in light of uh, us raising an awareness for this cause, um, our giveaway is such that for all of you, as long as you contribute to this cause that we're raising here today, you know, we've, we've uh, uh, put together this show for you, myself, my team, Marilyn, April as well. Uh, and we're not charging any fees because we just want to, you know, work with children's program and understand a little bit better as to what will work, what doesn't work. And we're grateful to you for joining us. But at the same time, we hope you will help us contribute to this cause. Don't donate any money to us directly. Donate to the cause directly. And if you have done so, um, and uh, do if you have done so, do send a proof of that to us via email or anything, uh, any of our socials via private messages. Uh, don't show us your IC numbers or the amount. It doesn't matter. Um, it can be any amount, small or big. We, we will appreciate. The charity will appreciate. We will be giving away to one lucky winner a workshop at our lab, a clean beauty workshop. This is our standard clean beauty workshop. We conduct them in very, very small numbers, uh, not more than eight person. And on the right will be some skincare that you can expect to make at this workshop. We teach um, our participants what is clean beauty, the theory part, the safety part, as well as the practical part, where the, you will make bespoke skincare for yourself. So everyone makes the same product, but the ingredients will be bespoke for your skin, formulated by myself. And I'm a certified formulator. I have already completed my um, uh, diploma in organic skincare formulation. So I hope I will see some of you at our workshop following this. And with that, I will now hand over to April to conclude the show. Um, but first, once again, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, Fonlabs team and Marilyn as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, Han, and also Marilyn. And I think before we close, uh, Han, uh, I believe that you want to discuss with them the upcoming sessions this June. Yes, we do have a lot of events that we are planning. It's just that we're waiting to see whether the government has given us a green light to go ahead to open the labs and under what condition. So the only way we can keep you updated right now is to check our socials. And that will be on Facebook and on Instagram uh, at Fawn Labs. You can also join, um, um, add on yourself to our mailing list by going to our webpage www.fawnn.com. Fawnn.com. Co. CO. Okay. Thank you, April. Thanks, Han. So yes, if you enjoyed all these digital series that Fawn Labs has given you, you will definitely enjoy the physical events that you're having. So please watch out for that. And before we close, I would just like to remind everyone that there will be a post survey immediately after we end this Zoom session. And we will really appreciate it if you can help us fill out the two minute survey. And yeah, thank you so much again for everyone who registered and watch over the Zoom link. And we are grateful for your support. Have a good evening, everyone. Happy weekend. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Happy lazy. Thank you. Bye. Thank bye. You. Take care. Thank you, children.